we finally well, have someone here who, who knows what they're talking about, who actually uh, goes down these mountains at full speed. What's your reaction there? I mean, is that, is that onus on the rider? Is it on the organization? Is it on the UCI? Yeah, honestly, it's, it's embarrassing. It's embarrassing for us. It's an embarrassing for the sport that, that this type of stuff still happens, that we're the year 2020. Uh, we've supposedly have had this, this union and the UCI, you know, having our backs for the last however many years. And the fact that, that truly nothing has changed. And, um, you know, as, as you said, like I do make my, my living off of this. And this, this is our job. And, and each and every day that we're out on these bikes racing, like, you know, there's so many times that we feel like, that's not taken seriously and and we as riders put so much work into it and and, and to trying to be at our best to you know at to be at these races and to compete and, and put a show on for for the fans and for the sport and and you know when that's not reciprocated on all sides by the uci and, and these race organizers it's it's really honestly it's embarrassing for us uh it's an embarrassing that this is how cycling gets into the media more often than not is, is by crashes and by incidents and, and things that are just so easily avoidable. Um, so, I mean, I, I mean, that's kind of my <laughs> initial reaction to it. And especially when I see all these, these accidents happen, um, you know, over and over again. Yeah. Uh, I, I think you're totally right on the fact that things haven't changed. I mean, we saw Lawrence Duplus go off the side of the road on this thing to send. We've tried so hard to, you know, to have change in this sport. And, you know, you can look at the season and since the restart, we've had a big issue in Poland uh, that could have been avoidable. Uh, we've had, you know, something that hasn't be really been talked about, but at Milan San Remo, 265K into the race, we're flying down this mountain going through uh, tunnels at, you know, 80, 90 K an hour that are completely pitch black. Um, you know, and that's just something that during the middle of it, I truly don't think I've ever been as scared of racing my bike as, as it was in that moment. Uh, we've seen this issue in Lombardia happen constantly on the same descent. Um, when we see the, what's happening in Belgium right now with, with roads that just aren't safe. And, um, if anything is clear, more clear to us now than ever, it's the fact that we aren't going to get any help. And, you know, we sit here and say, what's it going to take? What's it going to take for us to, to have any kind of change? And, um, you know, I think at this point, I think, you know, we as riders have to, you know, more or less put everyone else aside and say, look, this is this is what we want. And if we're not going to get it, then, then yeah, we, we have to come together and, and stand for one cause. And if that's not racing, then that's something that we have to commit to.